afternoon everybody how you doing button up my shirt a little bit excuse me so last weekend I went to South Park Pennsylvania got in touch with a lot of old friends from back of my racing days and went out and raced my bicycle so as the post says it says walk the walk do what you set out to do anyway and I think that was the theme because I had not raced in a while and I hadn't technically even been training for racing specifically uh, for some time. So I was nervous, even a bit scared, when I set out to go race. And it was one of the more technical tracks and there was a huge jump on the track. And so I had all those fears that a young rider or young person starting out in their career might have. Um, and I wasn't confident and I did have doubt and it was a very interesting moment for me because in my head, I was referencing the stuff that, that I write and speak to and about and tell my clients. Um, so it was really interesting to, to have that cascade of emotions and fears uh, and all those thoughts going through my head when I was racing or leading up to the race and then working very hard to execute my plan, to stay focused, to rise to the occasion, all of that, all of the above. And lo and behold, it worked. It worked. And so that was the fun part. And, and just as a quick side note some of the doubt and some of the fear didn't go away wanting to be very human about this but those things that conversation I was having in my head before I got on the gate before the race started the convert the breathing exercises that I was doing before each lap before each effort all of it really helped me perform well and I was able to get a second place the first day and a third place the second day uh, both of which I'm proud of and uh, and I was very very pleased with that so which brings me to the next point about doing what you set out to do anyway I had a very good conversation with one up-and-coming uh, racer who's in school and we got to talking about his life plan I just said what do you want what do you want and it started out he started giving me these these answers like he was uh, like he was being interviewed for a job and I said, man, don't give me the job interview question. I'm not NBC. I'm not, I'm not asking you how you prepared for this race. I, don't tell me what you think I want to hear. I said, close your eyes. And in your head, what do you see for yourself? What do you want? In your heart of hearts, in your mind's eye, what do you want? And then he said it. And I said, that's the plan. That's the plan. Why aren't we executing that plan? Why aren't you owning that plan? And I went into the story about how when I was in school and racing, and I told him, just in conversation, I said, hey man, I wanted to race. And I was gonna race anyway. I am a racer. Matter of fact, even though I don't do that for a living anymore, that's what I do. So right now as a professional if you want to call me a speaker or psychologist or whatever you want to say I want to help you kick butt. I want to help you get what you want I want to help you realize all that it is that life has to offer I want you to get the more that you want and I'm gonna do that anyway regardless of what a school might think, regardless of what a potential sponsor might think, regardless of what a potential wh whomever employer might think. Meaning, I am in control of my life just as this kid is in control of his life. And I said, as soon as you really live that reality in your own head, in your own heart, then people will jump on board to support you. So do what you set out to do anyway. And I think most people who are in business for themselves, uh, individual sports, athletes, uh, especially the ones who are really 
leveling up and achieving a high level of success and continued sustained success, they're doing what they set out to do anyway. And I'm not saying that they're not getting educated and I'm not saying that there's no mentorship or they're not paying attention to the market, none of that. I'm just saying that they have a plan, they see their life a certain way, their life, okay? Not just their business, not just their sport, but they see their life a certain way and they go to execute that. That's the kind of stuff that I love to talk about, obviously. Um, and so that's my story about this weekend of racing. I, I went to a race, um, didn't, I didn't know how prepared I was, even though I was ready, always ready, just not always prepared. And yeah, I, I had the fears, I had the nervousness, I had the doubt, I didn't know, I, I didn't know, because I, I hadn't raced in so long. And so I just pulled out those tools, the breathing, the visualization, the thoughts, the talk, all of it and I walked the walk. Came out on the other end smelling like roses. By the way, Christian Besserine is super fast, super fast. <laughs> so Christian, hats off. I honor and salute your skill and speed. Um, but yeah, so I was really pleased to put my own stuff to the test on me and walk it. So um, as you know, I do love you guys. If you like what you hear from me, please share it. That helps me out a great deal, and I believe it helps you out a great deal as well. And when I say share it, that, that means more than just sending it off into the ether online. I mean, get out in the world and say, hey, I heard this guy say some stuff, and it sounded good, and it sounded like this, and I think that would be helpful to you. So it helps you just as much as it helps the other person when you share what you learn. Um, I already said I love you guys, but I'll say it again. And uh, yeah, catch me on my website. That's drdrjasonrichardson.com or on Instagram at real Dr. J. Rich. I'm off and running because I'm going to go pick up my kids from basketball and then we are most likely gonna go on a mountain bike ride because we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, take care, peace, and uh, thanks for watching.